pretty hard to lose from card effects like that. Like Soulfire, instead of actually making you discard a card, it makes you draw two cards if you have two Melkazars up down. Yeah, yeah. I also hear the Silverware Golem is a bit too slow as well. I'm not 100% too sure, but a lot of people have been cutting it because it's not really worth playing. Well, yeah, I, I think that's where I saw the variant that I was trying out, which was running that two drop as well as double Soulfire and the Doom Guard. Mm -hmm. I mean, like originally, I was thinking like you want to play the old school uh, succubus that makes you discard a card at random for a four three on, for two mana. Mm -hmm. Like definitely a card that was. But you know, the card just came out. It's been what almost a week actually. Um, you know, give it some time. People make some uh, new decks, and we might actually see some crazy stuff, or we just won't see that deck do well at all. But like that. Bugazar Zeb just has huge potential value. It does. Oh yeah, see, here's another reason why um, Forbidden Summoning is not good. Look at Melsorb may be something gross in the future, yeah. but now we're watching Shaman Pulse, and this is... Or, Melsorb Pulse, uh, Melsorb, Melsorb Portal. Yeah. And this deck, it's almost in every Shaman build now. So like, your one-drops are just not as strong as they used to be. Your one-health minions are just not as good as they used to be. Yeah, I'd rather run a Soulfire because a lot of the decks nowadays run a lot of creatures that have around the four, like three to how four health pool. So yeah. you, yeah, Soulfire is definitely a really good kind of tempo play, especially when you could draw again with the Malkazar's Imp. So there's a lot of value there. So it's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of just... interesting how this is game is is gonna go. I, yeah, I think we'll probably see Melswarm plus yeah. the. Uh... Ooh, the sliding storm change anything? No. no. Like, so we see a trade in. Like, he's just going to leave the lock with one, a 1 1 minion in the end, I think? Two 1 1s. There's two oh, 1 1s. Yeah, you, I forgot about the uh, yeah. death rattle. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like he's just going to skip out on that. Maybe oh, uh, just yeah. attack into the 1 1 for now. Yeah, I guess I think like he, he might have been 14. looking for the healing totem. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I actually do like going face a lot here because you do have the double Melstorm pulse, not just the one. Mm hey. -hmm. I guess it really doesn't matter in the yeah. end, does it? Yeah, and then you're also developing another creature too. Like, if they're both trading in, you can just clear everything with just double Maelstrom Portal. And you get two one drops too, so that's also pretty good. And a lot of the uh, minions uh, the zoo actually plays out around two to one health, so pretty sure Maelstrom is going to clear almost everything. Especially with that spell totem, yeah. yeah. yeah especially and I, don't think it's, I don't think it's getting removed this turn. Yeah. I think we're going to see Golem get taken out and maybe the shield from uh, yeah, the Squire. Oh, it's actually not gonna be rude. We're gonna see huge. Yeah, huge. this is gonna be devastating. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you deal with it with your hand? Like, Ooh, you can't. That's interesting. But he is gonna clear the board here. Yeah, then he he's probably have to just gonna use that number of him. So. Yeah, then he's <gasps> probably gonna use that one, one to trade into the board. Yeah. To whatever is left, I mean. That squire is so sick because you're hitting totem every turn and you're just gonna have a big minion real fast now. Yeah. That was a good draw. That was a good boss. Draw. Yeah, I felt like there could have been like a more efficient kind of trade, but yeah. I felt double Maelstrom there is good because it does allow you to gain a little bit of board. But right now, since you have nothing really in hand, I think hexing is pretty good. See, I, like, yeah, look, he, he's hesitating because this is his second hex, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he knows if he uses this, he can't deal with Sea Giant, he can't deal with Doom Guard. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he's just gonna leave it. Interesting. Oh, that, uh,. Squire is not meant for the world. Yeah, it's a pretty weak kind of board, but at least you have a Maelstrom Portal that deals two damage or can wipe almost every, anything anything on board. At least it's that much, right? I, I, ooh. Ooh, the imp. You have no way to immediately gain value off of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Choosing one, uh, one demon over the other, going to go with the Voidwalker here for some defense, but and taunt up as well. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this is the mid-range shaman deck. The mid-range shaman deck actually does not run a lot of minions, but it does run like yeah stuff like flame tongue totem and this is an easy landing storm in a spirit clause for damage. And yeah, this is a very easy landing storm. Well, don't they? I, I think they run one um, bloodlust. Uh, some lists do, and some lists don't. Like, it's like preference. Like, some of them runs Alec here. Yeah. Yeah, for the fish. Well, I, I've always liked uh, Bloodless because it's it just huge, huge damage swing. Mm -hmm. You know, three times the number of minions on the board. Yeah. It can deal up to 21 damage. Yeah. I, I, I personally like Bloodless more because it comes a lot earlier than Alec here. Because by the time you reach a late game, your opponent probably has 
the researchers wipe up the whole board most of the time. Like we're playing against control decks, and it's one of the better mm -hmm. ways. Oh, here comes the uh, uh, Maelstrom oh. portal. Yeah, portal, portal, portal. Portal, portal, portal. Oh, there is no pulse in this game. Portal. Oh, wait, that's the bad one. That's the one that deals one to everything. It, it could be good. You did have a heal, like a healing totem, right? So it's yeah. pretty much non effective. I guess, like, that one one gets. Again. Well, you're also ahead against the lock, so. Yeah. You're doing okay in this position. Yeah, you're doing A okay. You can even use that as a threat too, like Forbidden Ritual is completely useless against that tentacle. Why do you and yeah, you're taking the initiative, so you're probably be the one who's controlling that death rattle. Is it good here? Actually, yeah, I feel like it's good here. It allows you to kill both minions. Mm -hmm. That would that'll kill the, the fiend that you could trade your healing totem? Looks like he's just gonna I guess he doesn't want to, is because he wants to save it for the Forbidden Ritual, just for just in case. If he was gonna play Tusk Jar, he probably should have played it first, right? Because if he got the second Flame Tongue, then he could have just taken out the Defender mm -hmm. without any cost at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like a little bit of a misstep there. Like, yeah. Oh, Leroy. Interesting. Saucy, saucy Z deck. Saucy, saucy Z deck. Wow, Bixie. Ripping.